Hi and welcome to this Matthew's Friends Keto Kitchen. I'm Chef Derek and I'm one of the chefs with Nutricia. Today we're going to do a really good recipe. It's called a turkey hazlet. It's just a twist on a scotch egg and we're going to use some ingredients that you might not have seen before. A um, little bit unusual but it's a really good recipe. So we're going to start with um, quail's eggs and these are the things that you might not have seen before. They're really really tiny little eggs. Um, you can get them from most supermarkets now or butchers um, and the good thing with these is that you get two for one portion so if you've got a teenager that needs to kind of eat more food this is a really good recipe. So we're going to basically make a turkey scotch egg. So we've got our pre-boiled quail's eggs and they've just been peeled and cooled. We've got our turkey mint, place that into the bowl. Um, we've got some diced bacon, so we've used smoked bacon just to give it some extra flavour. Try and chop it as small as you've got time for. Place that in. We've then got some spring onion, same again. Chop it as small as you can do so you get more. We've then got some mushrooms. Again, as fine as you can get these. These are going to be all mixed together and then wrapped around the quail's egg so it performs like a scotch egg. We're then going to put in the ketocal powder and this is the three to one. Same again if you want to change anything with ratios, always check with your dietitian before you do anything. Sprinkle that in. We're going to add a little bit of oil just to bind this. And then we've got some egg white. That's the glue that's going to hold everything together. So when you've got everything in your bowl, just with a fork, just start mixing all that together. Get it to a smoothish paste if you can manage it. So as you can see, you've got a really smooth kind of mixture that's all combined everything together. So remember, you've got your bacon, you've got your onion, your turkey, your ketocal powder, and your egg white. So once it's mixed and you've got a really smooth dough, what we're gonna do is we're gonna form it into two cakes. Scrape all this down. Like anything in keto cooking, you wanna gain everything you can do. We're going to divide it into two. Scraping that bowl as we go. Take one of the mixtures just in the palm of your hand and spread it out. Just flatten it like a little cake. Take one of your quail's eggs and then just pop it into the middle. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to form that meat round the egg so it completely encases it. Keep going and working it. So you get a scotch egg. Same again, flatten it out. It's a bit sticky, but you'll get there. Take your quail's egg into the middle and then fold it round. If you want to be really posh, you can do this with some cling film and wrap it round. Make sure the bottom's sealed perfect. And then you've got your two scotch eggs done. With the rest of the oil, all we're going to do is pop it into a preheated frying pan. 
that's just olive oil. Now you don't want the pan too hot when it comes to this. You want to just keep it on a nice medium heat. When the oil's hot, all we're going to do is just drop these in. And you get a little sizzle. We don't want it to be too fierce. And we're just going to cook these. Just keep turning them every so often just until all the turkey's cooked on the outside. Should take about five or six minutes. So once they've been in the pan and they're golden all the way around and you can feel like they've got a little bit of spring, which means that they're cooked, they're great served. You can serve them warm. We're just going to serve them today with a little bit of salad or grated carrot. What you can also do as well is you can batch mate these, keep them in the fridge. They're really great for lunch boxes or snacks. And look at that for a portion. You get really good size with this. Turkey, Hasler or the quail's eggs, scotch eggs. Enjoy. <laughs>